Hey guys, does this ever happen to you? Dead battery. So my O2 vet has a um, let's see, my O2 vet has some parasite that's sucking the power out, and I've been at this for about. I don't know, six or seven months trying to figure out where this uh, power drain is coming from. I have no idea. So, what's the solution to this? I can't, you know, like sometimes I forget to put the, uh, uh, what's that thing called? Uh, uh, keeps the battery charged, not the battery charger, but I forget, I'll, I'll think of the name, I'll, put, I'll post it in the, um, in the description below but I sometimes forget to put it on to keep the battery charged and so I came up with the solution what I think it should work is this what I got was a car battery oscillator which works on a remote and basically every time I get out the car just gonna hit the off button, kill the battery, kill the feed, so it actually kills whatever that's sucking out the battery. So uh, I'm gonna install it. I'm gonna show you guys how it works. It's fairly simple. It's not that much. So it shouldn't be that complicated. So uh, I'm gonna install it. I wanna see how it works. I'm gonna charge the battery and uh, basically jump the car, have the car run for a little bit, and then test it out, see if it works. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so um, I ran into a small issue. I didn't realize, uh, I mean, I, I, I did realize, but I forgot. So Chevy battery terminals are quite different. They're not the regular type terminals. They, these are the ones that they screw in from the side. So the unit itself, it's not made for that. So it's made for the traditional battery where the terminals are on top. So what to do when you come across this it's not that difficult it's actually fairly easy to fix this problem um so i went to autozone i got a die hard battery terminal that has this little uh, nut that goes into this part but since it doesn't go all the way what i did was um get a little one of these like tension washers and that should actually solve solve the spacing issue and that actually will go in here right so but then what I need to do what I had to do was actually make these holes a little bit bigger because again it's not made for the actual terminal size or the accessories that it comes with so I'm not going to be using any of the accessories that it came with like these little extra battery terminals and whatnot this is going to go directly into the battery and into the wire so i had to make this slide slightly bigger and i'm using two washer spacers to actually put here because when i put the 3 8 nut and this is not all the way threaded so this is going to be loose so this is just to take away the slack for the battery terminal so and I had to make these washers slightly bigger as well to just the hole so it'll fit. So once I have everything done, I'm gonna put these together and let's test it out.
All right, guys, so I broke this off of this, um, but not to worry. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on, yellow, and I'm not going to use the battery terminal. I'm just going to use the, um, you can see, it's basically, let me just adjust the camera a little bit. There you go gonna go here that's where the positive terminal is which kind of works better All right, so installation is complete. Now we need to see if this is working. Um, the battery doesn't have any juices in, in it right now. It has very little juice, but um, I wonder if the remote can actually function. It does. Hear the clicking? So it's off. Now it's on. It's off. Now it's on. Cool. I'm gonna turn it off, and I'm gonna uh, connect my um, battery uh, jump on this and try to turn the car on. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So uh, I have my uh, battery. Uh, jump uh, connected now look when I hit on look at the light now we got power to the car and we should be able to turn it on now I might struggle a little bit but Gonna struggle. Alright, let's try this again. Alright, she's on. I wonder if I'm gonna get the uh, error message. I should not be getting an error message, but if I do, I'll come on right now. So that's connected. Sounds 
great. Disconnect. Disconnect. Everything seems to be working fine. All is good. Alright guys, so um, all in all it took about, I don't know, about 20 minutes worth of labor to put this on. Um, uh, I did have to go get some other stuff, but other than that, it, you know, it's, it's mostly like a 20 minute job. You know, I didn't know about the fitting or that was a, that was a problem on my end, but you know, that's why I do this. I make the mistakes so you don't have to make the mistakes. This is the whole point of the channel. So, um, let me know what you think. Let me know if this actually works for you guys as well for your Corvette or any other car that you have that actually, you know, has some sort of, uh, um, what do they call them, uh, electric, uh, electric parasite that sucks the juice out of the battery and just kills the battery. So let me know guys, leave your comments down below, till next time, peace out.